Bishop Louie is back deep. Along with Connor Floyd. Neither will have a chance to touch it. They'll bring it under in Sanger, Texas. And it's one of the reasons Philip Montgomery loves having this veteran running this offense for him. Nothing doing for D'Angelo Dunks, particularly to Lucas running those shallow crosses. Second down and 10 coming up. Timmy's been highly productive. 14 straight games in which he's thrown a touchdown. He's in control of this offense at the line of scrimmage. He gets rid of it quickly. That's Josh Atkinson, the intended receiver. Covered by that Jordan Thomas isn't here. And Bannisor did start against Akron. But that's a, a big loss losing Jordan Thomas. We found out about it oh, about an hour ago. Third and ten. Evans in trouble. Ducks under at about the 25. They get nothing in the opening series. Dalton Parks will put it away from his 15. And Sterling Shepard is back deep. Quickly with the fair catch called. At the this is where the wind comes whipping down the range. Heck of a breeze behind them. And Louis will again decide. Mention a veteran here, but not with this offense in college. He did throw for over 3,000 yards a year ago. That's a quick look in. It's caught by Kiaris Garrett. Garrett will allow. It was Zach Sanchez who was on the back end of that play playing defense that he got that completion against him. And uh, later in. What's well, that inside receiver on the quick slant route you're talking about? It's what we call a switch route. When those two cross like that, it was tough for Sanchez to cover. On second and eight. Oh, and that pattern was thrown by the quarterback. Nice. Beautiful. To Garrett. You know, and he's got a trip. They're going right after a tremendous cover guy, nickel guy Sanchez, in that slot. They're not backing away on the hurricane. Here's Langer. He quickly pops through to the 40 yard line. Timmy, once again, you can see the inside right here. Here's Sanchez bumping, and he allowed him. He thinks he has help inside, but again, so can't really cover that. That's why Tulsa will always remain in this game. Second and two, there's Atkinson. First down. Langer in the middle. Mm. There's Garrett again. Breaks a tackle and down to the 12-yard line of Oklahoma. They are wearing him out. They're playing a kind of a catch technique off the ball, not pressing their face, Timmy, and it's paying, it's paying off for the Hurricane. And Langer, a quick pitch. Look at the nice cushion here. What you got to work with? That man, bail technique. Like I said, my grandmother can get a catch on that play, man. That's great. Sanchez highly thought of, by the way, but he's getting a workout in Spencer Mitchin. Langer takes it inside. They scrimmage from the eight. Three snap flags come down. Yep. Stafford may have moved prematurely. 76 for Tulsa. All start for offense number 76. The system will allow you to exploit it if Evans continues to make the right choices. Third nice. and 11. Garrett settles in, breaks another tackle, and manages the five. This is from 23 yards to the right half. Out of the hold of Joseph Calcagni, a name that should sound familiar to many. Bishop Louie back deep, and again, it sails beyond him. Now for Tulsa with the ball at the 25-yard line. Billy Sims, hello. Marcus Dupree, yeah. <laughs> Even Lucas on the receiving end of this. Force Oklahoma. Well, Oklahoma's got to get in coverage here. They busted this coverage on the back end. This is going to result in significant. Tari Bird was back in their free safety spot. There's a little bubble screen. Good pop. Ooh, they had it ready. He couldn't get lined up. Second and five. Brewer, I don't think so. I think it's a good decision. Look at the edge. Look at up at the right, Timmy. The read is there. Langer. Looks like he hit the scoreboard to light up. You're down two scores. The time is now. Bishop Louie again and Connor Floyd back deep. That'd be the position. That would be the only difference for me. Michigan State certainly worthy after their win against Baylor of being in the fourth position as Langer takes it in. Uh, Ohio State looked like a defending national champ, and, and that was an impressive win to shut down the Oregon run game the other day. Well, Zach Langer just got right through the Oklahoma interior roll and gets it inside the 25. Off the left side now, tempo. 
Going fade, wow. looking for the corner incomplete. That's Keevan Lucas. Well, he's only got the one catch today for six yards so far. Nice. Brewer pops it. This time over the right side, so challenging. To the top of your screen, keep an eye on that. Evans has to bring it down. Man. Try from 32 yards. It's blocked. Sanchez got through there, kept it alive, and the Sooners are on top of it. Louie from his two. Stopped at the 20. Well, there are obviously a lot of young men in your day. Yes, they? he sure did. Great player, too. Quick peck. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lee Dykes played back in those days for Pat Jones. The pass is over. Evans gets it out to ranks fifth nationally in punting coming into today's game. Shepard with room to work with. Corralled out of bounds. They need it to stay in this game. Zach Langer. Nothing doing in the Sugar Bowl a couple of years ago. They want to see more from him in coming games. Langer tries to pop free beyond the 11 to the. Beautiful settle to Garrett. He's been consistent with that matchup, not shying away from, from Sanchez, who's a tremendous cover. Markers down on the fly. That pass is caught by Atkinson. Zach Wanger. Second and 14. Wow. Nice pump fake and a back shoulder throw that's a beauty. Nice throw right there, Tim. Without a doubt. That's something you'd see from Drew Brees. Here comes a sack. Striker. Second and 16. Langer bounces outside. Strong run by the senior. And their defense off the field would be huge. He's got him in this twins look here right now. There it is. Wow. Atkinson. Find it. Golden Hurricane finding a place where they can exploit this coverage. Connor wow. Floyd had that one go right through his hands. On second down. There it is again, right at the marker. At snared out of the air by Atkinson. Evans with a pump fake. That's got to be a flag. Mm. Coverage scheme for the Sooners. Play fake to Langer. The throw is right on top. For Jones for the extra point. Well, they are getting through there. Oh, those yeah. are back. I mean, they were continuing <laughs> to take off, but now Tulsa. Has uh, made a bit of a comeback as Keevan Lucas. They don't do. get their tongues hanging out. No doubt. Play fake. That pass is thrown perfectly to Josh. Low snap. Gets it into Brewer's hand. They say, and they execute the play. Third down and four. Evans' pass is blocked. Tries to go with the end over end pooch approach. Make plays against linebackers, or if you put even safeties or smaller corners, you be able to make plays because of the size differential. Hey, you want to learn a little something about my offense? Yes, he did. That pass is long intended for Garrett. Second and ten. Garrett on a short two. Langer the setback. And he has the first down. The, they can have some momentum going into the break. Oklahoma will have it to open the second half. There's another second and ten. Langer. Four man rush. Tipped into the air as a half. 14 of 18 passing, 272 yards and two touchdowns. He's running the ball well as well. Fair catch call. First and 10 from the 20. Those two big turnovers have kept the Golden Hurricane that they can utilize. Langer again. That's a first down. Got him faster than you can defend him. Zone read, come off with play action. 
That pass was tipped and still caught by Atkins. Five catches for 68 yards for Atkins. That quick. Evans brings it down. Makes a nice decision there. And Kiaris Garrett. 17 yards on that pickup. It pops free again for Langer. The timer, a national title. Langer. <laughs> Play fake. Evans throws. He's got nice. it in the end zone, Lucas. Well, Lucas had been quieted by the Oklahoma defense. Well, he's going deep. He's going for it all right here. Hail Mary time. He's got it in the corner of the end zone. It's Kiaris Garrett. Can you believe it? Paul was put in a position, frankly, where no one but a Golden Hurricane was going to come down with it. One receiver is going to be just in front of the line, Garrett at 88, and then the back oh. end, when you go up and catch that ball at his highest point, you don't script it any better than that. Fantastic job. Total yards today, 866 between them. <laughs> Tulsa's got 397 of that. OU 406. He did slightly, watch his arms, he did slightly create right here, Spencer. Just a little bit of space, but certainly not enough to bring on a flag. Incredible length at 6'4", 220. And the young man from Dangerfield, Texas, made it count. Well, you know, if he didn't feel like he had a clean shot at it, the way that play is scripted up, it's to bat it back, and you also had good years for many years with many different coaches. Todd Graham had Gus Miles on in there for a period of time. That confidence shows up every single time. Langer, and to the 15-yard line. That's the pattern that's been there. The four-man front. Going long, wow. streaking down the sidelines. Atkinson, there's a bump. Wow. But it's down to keep the drive alive for Tulsa. Evans on the run, floats it out there. Incomplete for Atkinson. Zach Langer over 100 yards with. Evan swings it out to Langer. That's a first down and then some. Got picked on that play, Tim. He couldn't get over and cover. Wide receiver screen to Atkinson. He's ahead for eight or nine. Second and three. What was that, that statement you had in your back? Third and short. Langer stops short. Nothing doing. Junior from Kansas City. Beautiful Stacy High School. The whole 100th consecutive sellout at the stadium today. Louie from the end zone. Stopped at the 20 yard line. Consummate team game. Langer. has meant to this team, he and Devontae Bond, particularly. And on this or pass, it's a great option for him. Uh, they've got the field spread. Nice. There's a perfect quick slant to act to sneak in and take a peek to find out what the quarterback is doing on those quick routes. On third and ten. Wow. Quick out, streaking down the sidelines. The tempo, Tim. He remains in the game, Hobbs, up at the top of your screen. Evans, under pressure, has to unload. Why not? First and ten with the ball at the 28. Again, they go wide receiver screen to Atkinson. They moved out of it a straight pure man on the, the boundary by the numbers rather to the field. That last play, they had a safety over the top and still threw it for the same time, outnumbered by one man. All going fade for Floyd. And the more experience, you don't expect that to happen, Timmy. There it is, the safety valve liner. Takes leadership on that play. Slant nice. again. It's there. Off in the mark. Langer. Did he get in? First and goal. Langer again. Touchdown. In Knoxville last week. They, they got to within a touchdown on a great ad lib job and a maneuver in creating space by Mayfield. 
to Samaji Piran as a receiver as Bishop Langer the lone setback. Play fake and another deep ball streaking down the sidelines for Ed. Like Stryker. That's right. We'll unpack a little bit in a second, Tim. There's a reason for it. Langer. Tough run. Pass. Of yardage inside, but the matchup problem becomes when you need him in coverage. There goes Evans. And he slides down shy of the 50. With 11's about it. Langer off a 13-yard run a moment ago. Stopped at the line of score, but you're right, and that's something that Mike Stoops and I, well, we all talked about as you see that quick slot receivers. So off that first down, they're 28th at the game. They go to Kiaris Garrett. Play fake to Langer, looking long. That's Garrett. Kiaris Garrett with a flag down. Has it at the five-yard line of Oklahoma. Could it be uh, offensive pass interference? That's the preliminary indication. Does underscore is the fact that number one feels like he's as entitled to ball as S Sanchez is on this, and they've come after him from Ooh. the first snap, <laughs> Timmy. I don't know about I that, man. That's a, uh, no, that's a I did not see that. No, that's that's a phantom. Well, there it is. There's a little yeah, push there off. There's a little bit of a push this off angle, there, so there's no yeah, question that's about it. That's a good it. call. Out. Out pattern to Connor Floyd. Pushing for these receivers. And they go Langer on the delay. And he gets it to the 49 yard line. Still, the, that's a new normal, man. That's uh, yeah, the new normal. Absolutely. It's like a quarterback throwing for 300 used to be a big deal. No more. It's got to be 450 approaching five for it to be that big of a deal. D'Angelo Brewer, the lone setback for Tulsa. That's a quick out to Keevan Lucas. Put out the clock, hold on to win 9 6. It's wide open for him. Brewer in motion, pressure two. He's gonna go fade towards Brewer. He doesn't even see the ball. Tim, I mean, that, that would be the only argument I would make. And my argument would be it's a little harder when you're down three touchdowns than two. I mean, they, they really, gonna be a lot of games where you say first one to 50 wins. <laughs> Trust me. Bishop Louie brings it back. And the Golden Hurricane get it to the 20. Again, so much so that impacting schedule. It's outstanding stuff. Langer. Right to the 33, 34 yard line. 78, 79. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Evans finds his man, Kiaris Garrett. Langer's had an incredible day running the football. The kid from Jinx, Oklahoma. With Philip Montgomery's hurricane. Look at this. Wide open touchdown. Redford Jones 